Quitsig is a consortium. It's been put together to answer and address one of the biggest killers that there is in the world, and that is death through the inhalation of tobacco smoke. What Quitsig is, is a way of helping people do what they've been doing for many years before, which is to smoke cigarettes, but do it in a safe, measured, controlled way to still keep on inhaling nicotine to the point to which it reduces and reduces and reduces to the point to which they no longer wish to smoke. Quizsig was the brainchild of a chap called Steve Brimble. He's the man behind it all. Uh, and it was a few years ago, very sad, that he witnessed the death of an uncle who died through tobacco inhaled products, cigarettes. Um, it's that passion that drove him and also seeing other members of his family go through the same painful process that so many people go through and said, I need to do something about it. And it was his brainchild. He got together with some very smart people to develop a product which is now Quitsig, which is now launched in the UK and now in seven different countries and rapidly going through right across the world. What smokers want, what many smokers want, is to stop smoking. But they still enjoy the process of smoking because as we all know, it is the nicotine within cigarette smoke which is one of the most addictive drugs there is. And that's why a lot of people smoke because it's the nicotine that comes into the brain and fires off the dopamine, which is the feel-good drug, which gives people that thing which we often call a hit. Now, electronic cigarettes have gone crazy across the world, as a lot of people know. But what people don't have is something which is a measured process by which they can have exactly the right amount of MP or MGs or milligrams of nicotine in each time they inhale. And also in a safe environment. If you have tobacco smoke, as everybody knows, 4,000 chemicals, 69 of those are carcinogenics, they cause cancer. But with electronic cigarettes, you don't get that. And what you do get is just four chemicals, and none of them are linked to any cancer at all. There's no harm at all. I think one doctor said, it's, a, it's like having a strong cup of coffee, no more than that. And that's the beauty of it. So people can actually have exactly the amount of strength they want, and then start to reduce it right down to the point to which they could be having a cigarette but there's no nicotine content in it at all. So they can just measure it all the way down. So there's four boxes that you get, step one, step two, step three, step four, and as you're doing that you're reducing your dependency on the process. Because I know a lot of people when they try and quit smoking it's like I've got to put it down and then stop and then you have all those withdrawal symptoms and people get very irritable. Wouldn't it be nice just to be able to gradually take that down to the point to which say I don't want to do this anymore. And that's that, and the other thing about it, and I think the, the, the work that's been done by Steve and his team, is that they saw this coming a long time ago when the electronic cigarette revolution was starting to hit the, hit the world, so to speak. And what they started to do is to say, okay, if we're going to have something, we've got to go through the right channels. Now in the UK, you have the MRHC, which is the regulatory body, which looks after all of um, the way that all pharmaceutical products are done. So they've got in bed with a pharmaceutical company and they've brought somebody on board to go through very rigorous testing. And the testing is not just about the cigarette, it's also about the impact it's having on users. So there's been lots and lots of clinical, clinical trials to make sure that well ahead of 2016, which is when the government has stipulated it shall be put in, we're ready with the right product, which indeed is actually being marketed at this very place we're in now. And I think already 40,000 units have been ordered by distributors and other people that are actually taking this part. So it's just exploding. And I think people see it's exploding because they see it as just something that's really needed. I mean, I don't know any other way to put it. One doctor that we know of, he sees I don't know, 200 to 400 people that are desperate, absolutely desperate. To, he's just a GP to quit smoking. And most doctors that I know, uh, I went to college with one and he's one of the foremost um, chaps uh, in the UK that's desperate to help people stop smoking. They're actually coming out now saying, this is the number one. It's the number one way. Now, people have got used to having things like um, the, the patches 
Um, what are some of the other things? I think perhaps it's sprays, that type of thing. Now, they're great and they've been around for a long time and people know them. A lot of people don't enjoy having them, I know that much. Um, I have a significant other that's tried using these things. She doesn't enjoy uh, using these things at all. And I think one of the things is they're not particularly pleasant to taste, but also the time it takes for the nicotine to get into the bloodstream to give you that relief from your nicotine cravings is just too long. You know, the, the, if you put the one on, it could be three hours. And the spray, I think it's about 15 minutes or something like that. And to be honest, I've tried it once, I wouldn't touch it again. It tastes blooming horrible. But if you're having one of those things, I think it's 0.3 of a second. So by the time you do that, 0.3 of a second, which is exactly the same time as you get the hit as you would get from a normal tobacco. So people are enjoying the process, the hit and the relief that they're getting from it, but the, none of the nasty stuff that goes with it. And they can gradually come down, come down, come down to the point in which you do it. And that's fantastic. And if you've got doctors saying, you know, this is the number one, and there's a chap called Phil Tufnell, for those people who know a bit about cricket and I think he did, was that thing where they went in the jungle? I can't remember what it was, but he became a big sort of celebrity over here. Certainly in the UK, you've heard of him. He's now, what's he doing? He's doing a thing called Stoptober. This is the thing we do in the UK every year now, where people are actually saying to themselves, I'm going to use that month, those 30 days. And Phil Tufnell has come out and said, and he's tweeting it all over the place saying, I'm going to use Quitsit. So there's a bit of celebrity endorsement there to say, look, we're going to give this thing a go. And, you know, help us quit smoking. From a personal point of view, I know smokers. Um, and anything I can do to say, look, you want to go try this, you've got to go and do it because it'll help you quit smoking. It's expensive and Glenwall kills you. It's horrible. If you're in the business of helping people quit smoking, then please visit us for more information at our website.